Hey everybody, this is Tambiota. Today we're going to be taking a look at War for Cybertron Siege, Micro Masters, Rumble, and Ratbat. So as you can see, this is them in their packaging. And uh, let's go ahead and take them out and uh, check them out right now. And as you can see here, they're in basically their robot modes. Uh, one a robot and one a bat, but uh, you can see that there. All right, so here we are with set two, uh, Rumble and Ratbat. Um, now you can see Rumble here. He is uh, very humanoid. He does have the uh, these tabs on his fists so that you can plug in the uh, the weapon blast and, and such. Uh, oops, I have that tab flipped down. That's part of the tab uh, that connects to, you can connect them to their shoulders or whatever. For, uh, for for making shields. Uh, here's Ratbat. That looks pretty nice. So we'll, um, first of all, what we'll do is we're gonna transform them. I'll show you how to transform them into their cassette modes. Uh, we'll show how they interact with, uh, with Soundwave. And uh, then we'll transform them back into this mode and we'll show off their articulation. So this shouldn't take too long. Uh, we'll start off with a rumble real quick. Uh, now the only thing that they come in with in the package is their instructions. So that's that's it, and and the figures themselves. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to bring his uh, shoulders up just like that, and then you want to take these fists and bring them down. This one's a little tight right here. This one's a little bit easier for me. And uh, then with the legs, you want to twist them in like this, and then bring them around. Now uh, you're supposed to tab this portion into right there. I can never really get it to work. It normally just pushes in. Oh, did that push? Yeah, it just pushes it in. But it'll still work because it tabs into the side of the body. So there you go. So we got one tape. And uh, now for Ratbat. Uh, he's, he's fairly easy. He just has a couple of steps. Uh, we'll flip up his feet and then we'll bring down the wings. Take the head and it's on a two-part joint so that it can fold up just like that and you'll see that it goes all the way in there once it's tabbed in and then you just bring up the uh, the wing tips and you'll see that there's a tab right there that tabs into right there we'll do that again for this side and there you go so right back in his cassette form So how do they interact with uh, with Soundwave here? I got them in an alternate type of uh, transformation. I don't quite have the uh, um, I've, I've ordered them, but I don't have the uh, the the mods for uh, Shockwave Lab. But I do have them ordered, so I should be getting them in soon. And once I get those in, then I'll be reviewing those also. Uh, but uh, show off how they. How they look in uh, in Soundwave. So there's Ratbat right there, and that's gonna have problems coming out. So yeah, let's see there. All right, so and then for Rumble, either way, that looks kind of cool. The only thing you can really see are the red shoulders, but uh, let's flip it around the other way and see what it looks like. That's pretty cool too. Let's see if there's a better way to put this in where it's not going to get caught. Oh yeah, that, uh, that seems to do a little bit better. It still gets stuck, but uh, let's see, let's flip this around the other direction. See if this is the one. No, no, he, he, he's even stuck even worse in there. All right. All right. Gotta burp the baby to get that out. So. All right. So let's go ahead and transform these back and we'll show them off with uh, his other minions or his other friends. Go ahead and bring the feet down and then twist them forward see how I told you how it pushes these in 
Uh, I don't know if it's actually supposed to do that or not, but it does, so it's, it's really easy to fix. Just bring those fists forward, drop that down, and man, I wish there would have been a, a, a different company that would have uh, uh, created the guns. I, I know that there's no place to plug them in individually, but uh, they probably could have made a bracket that connects to here, and then you can then uh, um, have those weapons into there and probably have something where you can connect them onto uh onto the fist so maybe that's a maybe that's a project i'll have to look into soon and then for rat bat just bring that out like that and then bring the wings out and flip that head down and don't forget the feet so the way that I keep these guys standing, uh, especially with this one, because he's very wobbly, very top heavy, uh, bend the wing tips forward just a little bit, and that will uh, create a base. So he can have like a four point standing base. And that, that generally works for me pretty well. Now here's Ravage. And then also Laser Beak. We got all four of them now in one pitcher. It's pretty cool. Now we just, uh, I do have uh, the, the third set, so I'll be reviewing that at some point pretty soon. So we'll have all six of them really soon. Hopefully they do make a, uh, a buzzsaw. Uh, that's the basically the only cassette that they have left that they need to make for the Decepticons, so... Hopefully they'll they'll do a buzz saw. I don't know who they would uh, who they would join him together with, but uh, they could throw something else in there with him and make it another two pack. So, all right. Well, like I said, this was going to be a short video, so I want to thank everybody for watching. If you did enjoy this, please give us a thumbs up. This is Tambiota. I'll see you guys next time.